Alright, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x minus 1 plus 2 to the power of x minus 2 plus 2 to the power of x minus 3 is equal to 448. So now if I have a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, I have m here, this is equal to x, and n is equal to negative 1 for 2 to the power of x minus 1. So that's going to turn into 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of negative 1. Now I have this plus 2 to the power of x minus 2. That's going to equal 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of negative 2. And 2 to the power of x minus 3. That's going to equal 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of negative 3. Now I have this is equal to 448. Now 2 to the power of negative 1. That's the same thing as 1 over 2, which is... Now if I multiply that by 2 to the power of x, I get 2 to the power of x over 2. Now I have this plus 2 to the power of x over 2 squared plus 2 to the power of x over 2 to the power of 3. And this is equal to 448. Now if I factor out 2 to the power of x, I get 2 to the power of x times 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 2 to the power of 3. This is equal to 448. Now this is equal to 1 half plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8. This is equal to 448. Now 1 half plus 1 fourth, that's going to be 6 over 8, which is equal to 3 over 4. And 3 over 4 plus 1 8, that's going to be 7 over 8. So now I have 7 over 8 times 2 to the power of x is equal to 448. Now we want to isolate 2 to the power of x, so I'm going to divide both sides by 7 over 8. So these two cancel out. And I get 2 to the power of x is equal to 448 times 8 over 7. Now, 448 times 8, that's equal to 3,584. Now I have this over 7 which is equal to 512. So I have 2 to the power of x equals 512, meaning x is equal to 9. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 minus 9 is equal to 0. So I'm going to first start by rewriting x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2 times 2. And now I have this minus 9 is equal to 0. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, that's going to equal x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus 9 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rewrite negative 9 here as negative 3 squared. And if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to x squared and b is equal to 3. So now I'm going to be left with x squared plus 3 times x squared minus 3 is equal to 0. So now this is going to give me two equations. I get x squared plus 3 is equal to... 0, and I get x squared minus 3 is equal to 0.
So for x squared plus 3 equals 0, I can subtract 3 on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to negative 3. And now I'm going to take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of negative 3, that's going to equal the square root of 3 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So I get x is equal to positive negative square root of 3i. Now for x squared minus 3 equals 0. This is much simpler than the other one. All I have to do is add 3 on both sides. And I get x squared is equal to 3. And now, if I take the square root on both sides, the square root of x squared is x. So I get x is equal to positive or negative square root of 3. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x minus 3 times 16 to the power of x is equal to 64. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 16 as 4 squared. So now I have 4 to the power of x minus 3 times 4 squared to the power of x is equal to 64. And now, because these two have the same bases, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. And 4 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 4 to the power of 2 times x, or 4 to the power of 2x. So I have 4 to the power of x minus 3 plus 2x is equal to 64. And now 64, that's equal to 4 to the power of 3. So now I have 4 to the power of x minus 3 plus 2x is equal to 4 to the power of 3. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x minus 3 plus 2x is equal to 3. So now to simplify this, we just combine like terms. x plus 2x, that's going to be 3x. So I have 3x minus 3 is equal to 3. And now I'm going to add 3 on both sides. So I get 3x is equal to 6. And if I divide both sides by 3, I get x is equal to 6 divided by 3, which is 2.